Hi, I'm Angie. You know, macaroni and cheese doesn't have to come from a box or frozen from the freezer. I want to show you how to make it homemade. It's really simple and really delicious. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is bring a big pot of water to a rolling boil and cook three cups of ready cut macaroni. I like to cook it for about eight minutes. While the noodles are cooking, we're going to make our sauce. It's pretty much a standard cheese sauce. And I'm starting with a half a cup of butter. And this actually makes a double batch. So if you just want um, one batch, you can just cut everything in half. So I've got half a cup of butter and we're going to melt that in our pot. So the butter's melted over medium heat. You don't want to brown it. And now I'm going to whisk in a half a cup of flour, two teaspoons of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, and a half a teaspoon of dry mustard. And you want to make sure to cook that for one minute. And that's going to cook out all the raw flour taste. So let's actually set the timer. You just want to whisk that. And just let it cook for one minute while stirring constantly. Now I'm going to gradually add four cups of milk. Now I use skim milk just to keep the fat content down, but you can certainly use whatever milk you have. It'll make a nice rich sauce. Now we'll continue to cook this over medium heat until it thickens. It takes about five minutes, but you want to keep stirring it so you don't burn the milk at the bottom of the saucepan. So my macaroni has cooked for eight minutes and I've drained it and returned it to the pot and now I just have to wait for the sauce. So it's been about five, six minutes and my sauce is getting nice and thick. So now what I'm going to do is gradually stir in our cheese. And I've got three cups of cheese here. So I've got a mixture of old and extra old cheese, but you can use what you have. Put that in. And you just want to save about four tablespoons to go on the top of your casserole. So we'll just stir that in until it's nice and melty. You can actually turn the food off too. I whisked in the cheese and it's melting and it's just nice and thick and cheesy and creamy. So good. So our next step is simply to mix the cheese sauce in with the cooked macaroni. So using a rubber scraper you want to get every last bit of sauce out. Make it nice and cheesy. The kids absolutely love this dinner. Okay, so just Stir that in until all the macaroni is coated and then we'll put it into our buttered casserole dishes. So I spoon that into two greased casserole dishes and now we're just going to make a quick topping for the top. So I melted two tablespoons of butter in the microwave and to that I'm just going to mix in a half a cup of dry breadcrumbs. So you just want to mix that up and you're going to sprinkle it over the top. You can leave this step out if you like, but my kids really like the buttery topping. So now I'll just sprinkle the breadcrumbs on the top of the macaroni. You're going to bake this in a 375 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until the top is golden and bubbly. So get your breadcrumbs on. Then we're just going to top it with the leftover cheese that we saved four tablespoons and a little bit of paprika. Just sprinkle that on top. Serve this with a nice salad and you have a great dinner. Very nutritious. And just a little bit of pap paprika. Pop those in the oven and dinner will be ready in half an hour.